So I've compiled some of my favorite clips from your vlogs. I want you to take me through some of these moments, how you came up with the idea, what happened, how you thought about the final product, any tea basically that you have um, about these clips. They're some of my personal favorite moments from your videos. Great, yeah, I'm ready. Messing with Alex's pet is probably the worst prank you could possibly pull. Pet? Yeah. Family. <laughs> okay, so let me give you some context. So this is when Alex and I bought a bunny for a bit that we were doing, mm -hmm. and we're gonna return the bunny or give it to a friend or something when we, were, when we were done with her. And Alex fell in love with her, like, really bad. And it was really weird, because I'm like, it's been six hours and you're in love with this bunny. <laughs> so then I think a couple weeks later, I hired an actor to come play this guy off Craigslist, and I told him I sold the bunny. And that was bad. I don't, I, I feel really bad. I can't believe I even posted this. Alex started crying and he went in his room. <laughs> and I, I had to turn the cameras off, because it was like, it was pretty sad, and I actually feel bad. I didn't know that he liked the bunny that much. <laughs> so, oh uh, yeah, I feel bad. How is Bailey now, by the way? Everyone, she's been... good. She's honestly, she's like a big cat now. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of gross. <laughs> She's not like a cute bunny. She's literally <laughs> this big. Like, she's she's huge. Is the love still real between Alex and Bailey, at least? Yeah, especially because she's coming more closer to being a human size. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's becoming more and more possible that <laughs> maybe one day that something's going to spark. I have a actual phobia, like, no joke, dead-ass phobia of caterpillars. I hate them. I feel bad about this too. <laughs> These are all videos where I'm like, I shouldn't have done it. Okay, so Emma made a video where she said she had a phobia of caterpillars. And I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> I thought it was like a, I'm scared of caterpillars. I didn't know it was like, I'm scared of caterpillars. It was fun, but then I was like, oh wow, she's really scared of them. So um, I'm sorry, Emma. How did you put, you just were randomly watching her videos and you saw? No, Emma started shooting with us and then everybody started tweeting at me. Oh she, hates she hates caterpillars, she hates caterpillars. I'm like, okay, I gotta do it, I'll do it. And I, I Ubered those caterpillars out from San Diego because they're hard to get. And it was like a $160 Uber for them to get here. And I was waiting for them for like three hours. I was following their trip, these caterpillars <laughs> sitting on the back of an SUV. I got a, uh, ooh, I got a black car for them too. Oh, of course. Yeah, just, um, just so they'd be ready and happy. How much is this bag? This is 90,000. Hermes, Crocodile. 90,000 what? Dollars. <laughs> the Jeffree Star video, you guys went to his house. Crazy. You asked a question we were all wondering, uh, what was that like? I mean, Jeffree Star's entire life is insane. <laughs> like, bonkers. I mean, I don't know, I remember leaving, leaving that house and I was just like, what the f did I just like walk into? <laughs> it was like it was like being in a movie. Like, it's 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 insane. Him and Trisha together are also very dangerous. Oh, very dangerous. Yeah, we we got they, they're only allowed to hang out once every four months. Yeah, due so, to legal yeah. reasons, because they're just they're just too dangerous. Poor Jason, he would end up very very poor the more Trisha hangs out with him. That's why that's why <laughs> we keep her away. Trisha standing next to you makes Trisha look like a completely sane person. <laughs> this is my favorite video. This is good. The makeout prank. It's my favorite video. <laughs> This is like the one, like if like people don't know my videos, I love showing them this. This is the best reaction I've gotten to anything. You really so good. <laughs> such and I'm such a big fan of reactions. Like that's like why I surprise people with things. This was my absolute favorite. I remember getting it. I remember sitting behind the camera and I was just like, yes. <laughs> I was so happy. And how did you think about, because you went through a lot of effort. You put on a whole fake commercial to have your friend make out with Jason without him realizing it. Yeah, I had, I had my side. friend make out with a 45 year old. Yeah, without Just him knowing. Just as Bigfoot. For the second time. <laughs> it was great. I, I'm super, super honored to be able to do that. To was that friends. a lot of work to put together? I mean, you had a whole fake crew. Yeah, it was like, yeah, it was like a week of planning, which, wow. is, which is pretty, pretty big for my videos because I don't usually do that. But yeah, no, it was, and we finished it on Saturday. So I had all of Sunday off and that's the the only day I remember where I was like, I have this day off. Like I was like, there's nothing I can shoot because I, I'm done. And I was like, do I fly back to Chicago? Do I go to Hawaii for a night? I was like on another planet. Alex, dude, you're so over dramatic, man. Over dramatic, Dave? You want to see over dramatic? I'll show you over dramatic. This was in my 420th video. We drove to the desert. We drove three hours to get this. Alex had to blow the tables up by shooting like this like box that was like this big with the sniper rifle. He's never shot a sniper <laughs> ever. And there was a guy behind him standing with a detonator in case he missed. But the guy behind him said he didn't even have to push it because Alex actually hit it. And it was his first time shooting a gun. And that scared me <laughs> so much. But he got on his first hit. That was so much fun. How much work was it to set up all those tables? That's what the first time uh, I watched that. That's what I. It was a pain in the ass, <laughs> and it was so windy out there. And we were, we were setting up all the like screwing all the tables. It was worth it for those like forty seconds. It was worth it for sure. <laughs> Yeah. 
crazy that we pulled this off. This is a video where we convinced our friend who was scared of basically everything and, and everything. He was scared of natural disasters. So we convinced him that the San Andreas fault has ruptured and we had fake police come to our house. And then when he walked outside of the house, there was 30 extras packing their cars like they were leaving, like in our neighborhood. He freaked out. He texted me that night after. He's like, I can't trust you anymore. And like, seriously, like he, he didn't want to talk to me. No one ever oh seen God. me again. I had to go apologize to him. And then I had to call his mother and I had to call his dad and apologize to both of them because it was like really serious. He was pretty scarred from, from he, the- He was, <laughs> I think he's over it now, but like, yeah, in the moment it was bad. How did, J I mean, I know Jason's really close with Brandon, so how did he feel seeing poor Brandon go through all that? I think he loved it. <laughs> yeah, I think the only, pro only person that I had a problem with is, is everybody in Brandon's family <laughs> and Brandon. But um, no, it, it was fun and I'm sure he likes it now. <laughs> I mean, it made for a really, really good video. Oh my so God. I feel like at the end of the day, that's so all that exciting. Matters. So exciting. Did he ever get a date again with that girl that you made? Wow, you really on? know your stuff. I really. Journalist. Okay. That's insane. <laughs> yeah, we, we had to cancel a date that he had with a girl because he wasn't going to come over that night. So I had to find the girl, I had to find her number, and I had to call her and be like, can you please cancel on the date with Brandon? And she did, and she actually never called him again. <laughs> they never went on a date again, so, which kind of sucks. Right, but now he's he has happy. a girlfriend, yeah. so he's happy. So you welcome, Brandon. <laughs> as far as ideas, where in your mind do they come from, the mind of David Dobrik? Uh, because some of them are really, really wild. A, a lot of my friends help me with ideas uh -huh. too, yeah. And I think like a big like misconception with all of this is like, wow, you have so many ideas to do things. I cannot stress enough that every single day we start filming, we do not have a single <laughs> idea of what we're doing. Like I have to post a video tomorrow and there's nothing in it so far. And I have no idea what I'm doing. Absolutely no idea what I'm doing. And we have no ideas planned. We have not even a single idea that's like, oh, that'd be cool to do. We literally have nothing. And that's what sucks and is so great about this is that it's just like every day it's like waking up, like being shot out of a cannon and being like, okay, learn to fly right now.